Hallelujah. Everybody wants to pray. Everybody wants answers to prayer. God has the capacity to answer all kinds of prayers. Especially those prayers that are made in spirit and in truth. Following through the right principles on how to pray guarantees better and faster answers when you pray. Increasing the volume of your faith when you pray guarantees better and faster answer than when you concentrate on increasing the volume of your voice. An increased faith volume is better and more important than increased voice volume when you pray. Prayer is a spiritual activity communicated through a spiritual reign to a God that is a spirit. And that God that is a spirit is expecting those who are calling on him to worship him, to pray to him in spirit and in truth. In other words, he's more concentrated. He's more desirous to listen to your spirit, to your heart, than to your voice physically. He's a spirit. He's not a flesh. He's not interested in just your flesh. He wants to listen to your spirit. He wants to listen to your heart. Increasing the volume of your faith is more important than increasing the volume of your voice when you pray. If you want a faster answer to your prayers. The woman with the issue of blood went through a whole lot in her lifetime. But she could not get answers medically, physically. She felt it was time for her to increase the volume of her faith. For her to receive from the Messiah, Jesus Christ. A lot of persons were gathered around Jesus Christ. She was far away. But she knew that distance is not the barrier in the realms of the spirit. She could connect to Jesus through her faith. Increasing the volume of her faith was more important to connect her to Jesus and for her to receive her healing. Rather than shouting, rather than screaming, the Bible says she proposed in her heart and said, if only I would touch the garment of Jesus. The volume of her faith was increased. The volume of her faith was increased. Not just the volume of her voice. And the moment the volume of her faith was increased, something happened to connect her with the reins of the Spirit. Something happened to connect her with divinity, something happened to connect her with Jesus. And as she touched the garment of Jesus, the Bible says she was made whole. And Jesus said, someone touched me. The touch was not just first from her hand. The touch was first from her spirit, from her heart, from her feet. And the Bible says, because of her faith, she was made whole. It's okay to pray with your mouth open, speaking out loud, but concentrate more on increasing the volume of your faith than increasing the volume of your voice when you pray. Spiritual people and the spiritual kingdoms understand when the voice that prays is actually loud. And when it causes earthquakes in the realms of the spirit. You can shout. And in the realms of the spirit no one knows. That there is a sound coming from somewhere. Because there is no connectivity. Why you can be so quiet. And in the realms of the spirit there is a havoc. That is being caused. There is trembling. Because. There is an awareness. There is a trembling in the atmosphere. It is not how loud your physical voice is that guarantees 
that there is a hearing or there is a knowing that the prayer has been made. You need to connect to the spirit. Prayer, like I said, is a spiritual activity. To a spiritual being, to a God that is a spirit. And that God wants to hear your spirit, not just wanting to hear your voice. He wants to hear your voice in the realms of the spirit, not just your voice in the physical realm. This is the reason why you see someone can fast and pray for seven days with a loud voice and maybe nothing has happened or nothing happens simply because there has not yet been a proportional connectivity in the realms of the spirit. And then some other person, maybe a man of God, just comes. The same prayer point. And the man of God lays his hands on you and said, It is done. You will testify. And those words produces the result. And you wonder, when I prayed, I fasted. I shouted. I screamed. I did midnight prayers. Those things are important. But to shift something in the realms of the spirit, it requires a higher volume of spiritual force to shift that. And if the voice in the spiritual realm is low, the voice in the spiritual realm, if it is low, it can do nothing. Even though the voice in the physical realm is loud. If the faith is low and yet the voice is loud, nothing happens. You can't please God with the loud voice alone. You please God and you move God by your faith. Concentrate on increasing the volume of your faith when you pray. And see God move and see God step in. That challenge is not too big for God to handle. That sickness is not too big for God to heal you. The situation you find yourself is not too big for God to give you a testimony. But your faith volume needs to increase for God to hear you. Your faith volume needs to increase for your answers to come faster. In the reins of the spirit, distance is not a barrier. But what makes the distance to become a barrier is because the faith is low. Increasing the volume of your faith when you pray guarantees a faster answer to your prayer it's more important that you boost your faith increase your faith than just increasing your volume of your voice there is nothing wrong in shouting when you pray there is nothing wrong in increasing your voice volume but my emphasis is the louder your faith volume the more important it is to receive answer than concentrating on just making your voice volume louder the sickness is not important it's not concerned about hearing your physical voice the sickness wants to hear your spiritual voice through your faith the sickness will shift. Sickness is a spirit. Some challenges are a spirit. And it takes a spirit to deactivate what is a spirit. The volume of your faith through the spirit can shift any barrier. 
That's the reason why the Bible says, even though your faith is as small as a mustard seed, mountains can move. I join my faith with you. As your faith begins to increase, your problems begin to go away. The sickness go away. The challenge you face go away. The barriers go away. Whatsoever the stands as a man mountain before you goes away. You will testify. God is waiting for you to manifest. You will manifest. Your blessings will come true. And you will have many reasons to give God many thanks. Remember, it's more important to increase your faith volume than just increasing your voice volume when you pray. God hears your spirit. God is looking at your spirit. God connects with your spirit and not just your body. I see you getting testimonies. I see you getting your breakthrough. I see you testify. Increase your faith. And you will testify. It's okay to scream Amen. But it's not just about screaming amen. Is your faith increased proportionally to the volume of the amen that is being screamed? An increased faith volume is more results-oriented than an increased voice volume when you pray. Have a blessed day.